Welcome to your weekly Water Tribe report. This is the Peace Dealer. I'm going to put on my car show voice and let's have a great time. This video is for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And of course, if your rising or moon sign is in these signs, yep, it will be accurate for you as well. So with the Four of Cups, this week definitely offers great contemplation. You really want to grab that imaginary cup that's going to show its face in front of you as you will constantly be daydreaming and contemplating your emotions and just figuring and wondering what could be and what if it was this way and how should I respond and oh my goodness if I was there I would have actually said this this and this but now it's too late because I actually didn't say anything because I didn't know what to say and you're just going to be mulling over for a lot of you with firing your chart it's going to be boring as hell but this is going to be very great. This is a moon and cancer card. You're really going to take this whole week to contemplate how you really feel. Don't worry about withdrawing from situations so that you can take time to sort through your feelings, especially because this week brings in its great share of literal magic. <coughs> I like how the a uh, weekly card is also uh, the card for the end and beginning of the week, as if you'll kind of gain an understanding of it as the week progresses. But there's a lot in this life that you've worked hard for, and you're going to gain a sense of really reaping the positives of it, standing firm in your power and understanding how to be more of a boss with what you have and seeing things actually move forward, really interacting with powerful people around you. However, I know you, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, all of you saw that moon card first. Um, and, and, or even if you didn't like that's, that's really, uh, the sense where you're still not necessarily in the clear with everything and any and an even deeper sense there is something psychic that only you kind of know and you know no one else really knows so it's like damn no one's really as intuitive as me and it's kind of hard to navigate because i know i can't really go to many people to talk about what i'm feeling and so I must emotionally contemplate. Cancer, for you, this week is going to be very freeing. You're going to really purposefully go and embark on your own adventure where you could really explore and literally feel more. There's a whole lot in your life that you're going to really spark just by being around people. And being your wise measure to notice that. And Scorpio, with the King of Pentacles, you really are going to understand the lesson of this week and embody it. So you're going to definitely get your boss on. Um, you may be surprised what you think is a simple idea, how important it is like weeks later. So it really does pay lots to, you know, invest a lot in your future this week and, 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 think along those lines and finally pisces we have the strength card which is honestly it has its own meaning like when you talk about the strength card in tarot it talks about cultivating your inner strength but that's not what i'm going to tell you because you're pisces so this really means this week y'all will frolic and chill with archangels and see rainbows and higher frequencies and just have a crazy magical time probably a lot of experiences that you won't be able to tell people because they don't lucid dream like you do or you know they they're just not as magical as you i'm totally trolling but you know you know what it is so until next week y'all peace